everyone, my name is Wingblade, and welcome back to another part of Barnacle Heroes. Last time we played as Radak, and today we're going to be playing as Hakan, the Red Procket, the guy I'm looking at. But first things first, let's head to the Barnacle store. I'd like to check how much Technic pieces I have. Oh, I have enough to buy bonus level 2. Let's do it. There, that only just leaves bonus level 3 and the caster locator. But don't worry, I'll come back. I'll get those two off camera. But either way, today we're going to head to Hakan's Volcano. As you can see, we've got all 15 silver casters and 11 and 5 gold casters left to get. So yeah, so it looks like we've got four locations that needs gold. So you know what? Maybe we'll head to... Alright, this one's going to be a little challenging. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Volcanic trail it is. So yeah. Volcanic Trail. I just love it. I really love this part of the for, of this level. It looks really junglish like. Then after that, when you leave, it turns into a wasteland. But still, it's pretty cool. Oh, by far, this is the easiest zone to get silver canisters. Pretty much, there are some canisters that are so easy that you can get on your first attempt. But you can only do that if you've upgraded your Toa. So once you upgraded your Toa's armor, I recommend upgrading their elemental abilities. That way you can access more zones quicker. The more you, that way, the more you upgrade your Toa, the better chances you'll have at progressing through the game. For example, you won't die and it will make, make it a bit easier. Anyway, over here, just swap to Hakan and it will open this uh, small secret zone. Now we swap to Kongu, and in there, follow this trail of blue studs, and it will lead you to a gold canister. So technically, this is like a secret zone. Now, yeah. So it looks like Hakan's weapon is a uh, like small miss, like a small missile launcher. Hmm. Like this. Still, would have been cool if they actually gave him the heat. Still, his weapon is exactly the same. Like so. Earring. Now, let's, uh... First, let me grab Hookie's mask. But still, it would have been cool if they added voice acting in this game. Like, add, like, cutscenes with the Toa, you know, talking and approaching this zone, as well as the Paraka, like, that would have been so cool. Like, add bon like, add voice acting from, like, Bionicle, the first game. So anyway, let us do this. Still, I really love the hero mode. Hero mode is a good way to get lots of money. Heck, I'll even show you a way on how to farm um, Technic parts. But this part is the level I dislike, that you have to use Hero Mode again, but you've already used Hero Mode last time. Which is kind of a bit pointless. But I guess they just did it to make the levels a bit more longer. Alright, pretty much I'm just going to stick with Jowler. Pretty much because uh, Hakan is kind of a slow shooter. Weapon does good damage, but is completely, is but completely slow. Like seriously, like. 
So yeah, good damage, but he's slow at shooting. So yeah. So what else has been good? Well, pretty much, I played Batman the Telltales, the Telltale series, and I loved it. By far, I did some good choices. For example, if you guys know about this game, but if you get now, if you guys don't know about the game, then I recommend getting the game. It's really good and fun. Pretty much, you play as Batman, and you make your own choices. I, you can choose what you like to do as Batman, as in, do you like a good option? Heck, you can even choose what to say. Pretty much, it's like uh, life is. Pretty much, it's like life is strange, but it's a bit different. And except this time, you make your choices as the Batman, and you get to fight crime. By far, tomorrow episode. By far, today, episode 5 is going to be out. Or, I mean, I mean, yesterday, yesterday episode 5 came out. The final episode to the Batman Telltale series. Now, there might be a second series. Now, there might be a second season. I'm not quite sure. They might, or might not. But if they, because, and I've actually uh, played it. And actually, if you guys don't know what it is, and what happens, then here's something I recommend you guys do. If you're still living with your family, or if you're, or, you know, have your own place and your own job, then I recommend saving up money and buying this game. Seriously, it's really good. Uh, you make your own decisions. Heck. Now in episode 1 to 3, you don't actually take down any main villains, but then in episodes 4 and 5, the real fun begins. Because you finally get to uh, uh, take down many people. I like to say the F word, but uh, trying to not curse a lot. Plus, cursing can kind of be a little bit, what's the word, a little bit bad. So anyway, the next level, then after I finish this let's play, I'm gonna do, gonna show some tips on, like, other videos, like, uh, where, like, the locations of every gold and silver canisters, every boss battle, oh, oh, and a strategy, and every tactic on how to defeat them, as well as, uh, what else? Hold on. Oops, there was another one, and I completely forgot. Let me see it again. Oh yeah. Ah, and also another, and also a video on how to farm Technic pieces. So, you know, to get through this. One. All right. So it looks like for this zone, we need a Vison to get the final gold canister. So we'll come back to this zone as soon as we have. So pretty much, I'll come back to each of these zones, and I will, I'll get every caster. So pretty much, what's gonna happen in each zone is, so after I beat Vizon, I'm going to return to each zone to unlock everything. Now, I think I might actually, uh, just go to one zone in one episode. Well. I'm not going to divide it into separate videos, because it would make the Let's Play too long. Plus, I have other videos to do on my channel. So, you know what? I think I'm just going to do, like, a, a small, uh, what's it again? Montage of where the rest of the, uh, uh, gold and silver casters are. You know, because I kind of don't like to do a long Let's Play. I've been doing this Let's Play a long time, and I really want to get this completely finished. Plus, the fewer parts there are, the quicker it is. Alright, time to use the power. This is starting to come up. Uh, Technic part. Technic parts. I mean, bath. Oh, pretty much like a... Ah, you get the point. Oh, wait, you don't. <laughs> Still. Oh, yeah. So yeah. 
Also, in the comments below, tell me what's a skyline. Sorry. And plus, uh, in the comments below, tell me what let's play you want me to do in the future. My choices are Lego Avengers. But the last time I attempted to do that, I ended up getting a copyright claim for sound. Seriously, I hate, I hate that. I even turned off the sound. I also, I even turned off the song, but I still got copyrighted. And as much as I like to turn the sound off, but I'm just gonna have to deal. So yeah, the zone will be quick paced. So pretty much I'm trying to go for these, uh, so by far I'm filming all of these in, so pretty much I filmed all these in one day. That's what I do for my Let's Play series. I just film them all in one day, you know, that way I don't have to, uh, take a long time. Plus, I hate taking time. Taking my time is kind of a bit boring. For example, I get little work done, and but if I film them all at once, I get a lot of work done. Still, it's a uh, very late night, but I'll have have them all ready. So yeah, so pretty much. Also, the other games I'm planning to do for my channel, well pretty much, I'll leave that to you in the comments below. So what game should I do after Bionicle Heroes and I finish after, uh, what, and after Skylanders Imaginators? Should I do Batman, the Telltale series, Batman, and Arkham Asylum? I mean, no, I mean Batman Arkham Knight, and very much sorry why I haven't been doing any Life is Strange videos, I kinda, either one, got kinda bored of this series, or I just, uh, didn't bother. So anyway, yeah, continuing on. Pretty much the games I like are action and adventure, as well as Lego games and violent games. I really love games like Halo and stuff, as well as build your own city and world old games. Anyway, we are about to come to the end of the level, so I might as well just uh, speed run for this part. Speed run, just to uh, pass enemies, just use the Baru's grenade launcher. A lot. Plus, you'll get a lot of kills if you, uh... Still, would've been cool if they had... Still, this game isn't quite a challenge. It would've been cool if they actually added a time limit. Like, it would've been cool if they added other things, like multiplayer, where you and your friend get to play as a Toa. One plays a Toa, and the other plays a villain. Now look. Now pretty much, normally I would be kinda disappointed, but since this zone I use Jowler, I'm kinda of okay with it. <laughs> out of ammo he is. He's out of ammo, I meant. Eerie, anyway, still the same Dizarac. A new mask we've got. Either way, and we've got gold on Volcanic Trail. So either way, let's continue on. So pretty much that is about it for Hakan and his gameplay. So thanks for watching. Next time we will do Zaktan, the the green Paraka. He's also going to be the final Paraka, and then after that we'll take on Vizon. So here we guys. Thanks for watching, my name is Wingblade and I will see you guys in part 30.